sorry for this awful angle, but um, I have my mother-in-law's car because I have an appointment with my um, osteopath today, thank God, because as you guys know, I have just been in so much pain with my, since um, Reese dropped, and she's putting so much pressure on my sciatic nerve pain on my back. So, um, on the sciatic nerve, it's causing a lot of pain. So, um, I have an appointment today, thank God, but I'm taking my mother-in-law's car, she's watching the girls, because, um, Colin is picking up my Yukon tonight, and um, he has to, he cleaned out my Durango. Um, I am gonna miss the Durango, I am gonna miss it, but uh, I'm sure the Yukon will be even better, but um, he just doesn't want anything, doesn't want me driving it anywhere, because this is a 45 minute drive, and it's Murphy's Law that, you know, right when you're about to get a new vehicle or something, um, you could get into a fender bender or it could break down or you know just something could um, something could go wrong so um, my mother-in-law said I could take her car which was very sweet of her and um, yeah so she's watching the girls because Colin you know he has to work my mom is she's out of commission she's in a lot of pain they had to take quite a bit like she's got a scar like this right on the bottom of her foot which that's where like all the nerve endings are so she's in quite a bit of pain um, and she's kind of hobbling she can't really walk um, so we're hoping though that we can go and see my new nephew this weekend but obviously it depends how my sister-in-law is feeling um, I told her there's no rush like you take all the time you need because the most important thing is that she's okay and she's rested but I just want to go so I can help and like take the baby while she goes and has a nap and I put a gift of a bunch of boy clothes together for her and my brother and I made them um, as you guys saw I made the muffins yesterday I have them in the freezer so they can um, just grab like a quick snack or breakfast or whatever but I'm so excited to meet him I bawled my eyes out because they didn't know if it was a boy or a girl and when my brother called and said it was a boy, I lost my damn mind. Like, I just bawled my eyes out. And I'm just so, he's just perfect. He's so healthy and it's my first nephew, so I'm so excited. Um, and my other sister-in-law is pregnant too. She's due in August. So I was just, I've just been on cloud nine. Other than being in a lot of pain, I've been on cloud nine the last week just from, you know, getting two new babies in our family it's just God is so so good so I'm just I'm just really happy I really please don't snow like every time I go this way it snows but anyway so I'm hoping um, he can give me some relief um, and then next Thursday um, wait today's Thursday so in a week <clears throat> I see my OB and I book my c-section and I just want to ask him what he thinks about how low she is and like if he's I don't know thinking she could come early or something because neither Blake or Olivia dropped neither of them dropped and Reese dropped just after 32 weeks and she's low because right when she dropped my acid reflux went away and I could breathe better although I'm always out of breath because I'm very pregnant but I could breathe better acid reflux stop reflux stopped I got my sciatic nerve pain and the lightning, they call it lightning crotch because you get shooting pains in your lady parts and the amount of pressure and soreness I have down there and it goes into my butt and like my pubic bone, my hips all happened at like the same time. So anyways, I just, I... I'm just praying like you stay in there till at least 37 weeks. If I can make it to 37 weeks, I'll be happy. I'd rather her cook till like 38, 38 and a half, <clears throat> but 37 I'm at least trying to make it to. So anyways, um, I will let you guys know how my appointment goes when it's done. It'll be about an hour and yes, we will chat later. Blakey and I. <laughs> She's such an actress. Are you gonna be on TV? Bye bye guys. <laughs> we are gonna play while 
miss um I almost said Reese <laughs> Olivia sleeping what are we playing camping yeah, we're gonna play camping but we need a blanket are you gonna put that on my face <laughs> so we are gonna play camping she's getting a blanket <laughs> for me. Um, I'm back from my um, osteopath appointment. It went so well. I'm so tired now because you just always get tired after a session with him, but he completely fixed my back. He said what the problem was, was Reese dropped, but when she dropped, she dropped sideways. So my, you can do it. You can do it. So Reese and my uterus were pushing on my sciatic nerve. So that's why I was experiencing so much pain. He fixed it like that. I mean, it hurt um, to fix it. Like I had to breathe through it because he's like, okay, it's going to be painful for a minute. But he moved her over. He moved my uterus over. He fixed it. I feel fine. So if you have sciatic nerve pain, go and see an osteopath. They are brilliant. I feel so much better. It was $135 Canadian, but I only have to see him once or twice a year. Like, it's amazing. I feel so much better, so I'm so happy, but. Pull, be pull. <laughs> there, you did it, see? High five, I told you you could do it. High five. Hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel so much better. So basically, yeah, he completely fixed my back and I feel so much better. Um, I also booked an appointment for Reese to go and see him when she's six weeks old and for me to get a tune up as I call it um, just after having surgery um, because he can fix colic. Um, he fixed, when Olivia was a baby, I took her to see him because she hated tummy time like to the point where it was, you could tell it was like painful for her so I took him her to see him and he's like yep her liver's backed up because she had so many blood transfusions when she was born he's like so when she goes on her stomach there's like a big ball there and it's uncomfortable and he's like I'll fix that for her and he did and she was so much better so if you have um, sciatic nerve pain and you're pregnant or not pregnant if you have migraines vertigo Basically anything wrong with your body, gallbladder issues, anything like that, he can fix it. Like osteopaths are amazing. I feel so much better, but I'm so tired now because um, it's, it's, I'm always like drained after seeing him because, um, you know, he moves things around and your, your body and stuff. And so I'm tired now, but I'm so thankful and I promise I'm not going to like overdo it now. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of nesting here and there, but I'm not gonna push myself because I don't want to undo anything that he did. But isn't that crazy that she dropped sideways, but then he was like, you know, people don't talk about these things, but he's like, we can't expect babies to drop perfectly straight. He goes, most of the time they do drop sideways or one way and that causes pain. And he goes, it's unnecessary pain that women don't have to deal with. If they just came to see osteopaths, you know, you could fix it. So. I'm so thankful for him and I told him because he's um I would say he's mid 50s I'd say mid 50s and I was like you can never retire and he's like don't plan to anytime soon so we're good <laughs> so sorry for Coco Melon in the background but it is 10 to 5 it's so weird that the sun is still shining at 10 to 5 like it's weird I'm not used to it but I'm just gonna make the kids some supper. Colin came and took the car seats out of my, oh, I'm still sore on my lower back, but it's so much better. I'm just, he's like, you're gonna be sore for like a day or two. But, um, what was I saying? Colin took the car seats out of my Durango cause he's took it to the car wash and he's going to um, take it to the dealership and hand it off and bring home my new Yukon. So I'm really excited, but he probably won't be home. Uh, he's meeting the guy at five. I'm assuming it'll take an hour just to go over like final like paperwork and um, stuff like that. So he should be home between six and seven. Um, he did have to stop in at his parents' house 
um, to help them figure out something um, like renovation wise, but that's kind of it. And then he'll be home. So we already bathed the girls. He came home. We bathed them because I can't lift Olivia out of the tub. It's just too hard for me. So um, he um, lifted her in and out and we got the jammies on so I don't have to do bath by myself. And I'm gonna make me and Olivia a grilled cheese. Blakey doesn't want one, but I'm gonna have grilled cheese. Blake wants mac and cheese. Just a super easy um, supper tonight, cause why not, you know? Why not, so, but look how beautiful. I just washed my mask too, cause it was getting kinda dirty. But look how beautiful and sunny it is. It's so, so pretty. Blake is buttering the butter for me, and we're gonna it's use. It's a little bit sticky on your eyes. <laughs> it is a little bit sticky, honey. You're doing a good job, though. And then we're gonna use craft singles and Annie's mac and cheese for Blake, because that's what she wants. And I'm having grilled cheese with. Um, this is like a Campbell's potato bacon soup, because that just sounds so good to me. More blueberries. More? Yeah. That one's mummy. She can have this one if you like. Wanna try that one? <laughs> Sometimes we I like just eating it. Yours. You can try mine, sure. I like just eating at the island. This is so good. I'm so happy. And Libby likes her grilled cheese. Did Blake you has go mine. To us? <laughs> I did a little bit. I did a little bit. And then uh, Blakey's mac and cheese is almost ready. Oh, my Lanta, she's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I don't miss my old car. Oh my god, it's huge. That's what she said. Oh. Ooh. Here, you gotta get in and put your foot on the brake. Ooh. I'm happy. <laughs> guys I forgot to end the vlog last night um so I'm ending it now and starting a new one I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for you but in a couple seconds for me <laughs>